Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading for the first half of April, the 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, so this is going to be, uh, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, yeah, Virgo is my rising sign. So my fellow Virgo brothers and sisters, I'm very excited to see what we have in store for us. So let's get into it, yeah? Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, sun, moon, and rising. Please bring forward the best messages for us for this moment in time, April 5th through the 15th. The 5th? No, April 1st to the 15th. There it is. <laughs> all right, Virgo. April 1st to the 15th, sun, moon, and rising. One more shuffle for you, Virgo. All right. Let's cut the deck. What have we got for you, Virgo? So, ah, uh, underneath the you have the sun. Your overall energy is right now. Uh, we're starting with the sun, and the sun is saying everything is awesome. <laughs> everything is awesome. <laughs> The sun is shining. Things are being illuminated for you. Um, there is healing happening within your masculine energies. That is a big thing that's happening for everybody right now, all over the world. Um, there is a lot of balance coming to masculine and feminine energies right now. We also have the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, but then we also have... Um, and I know that says prince. Uh, in this deck, it's the princes are the knights and the princesses are the pages. Um, but then we also have the nine of swords for you, Virgo. And duh, <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Um, so spirituality is coming to the forefront for you, Virgo. Um, the, the knight of wands um, can depict... Uh, a, a spiritual warrior of sense, uh, in a sense, um, and that's kind of that's kind of some of the energy that you're starting to embody right now. Um, and with the three of pentacles, you're really doing a lot of work to rebuild yourself, to um, step into your power. Okay, um, but you're still caught in your head about it. You're still anxious about something. You're still kind of losing sleep over something. It's like there are a lot of big changes happening for you. Um, there are a lot of big changes happening for you and you're getting really fired up and passionate about something and you really want to move forward towards it, but you still have that little voice in the back of your head saying, I don't know about this. Something's not right here. Um, but that's really just your ego. The nine of swords really is just talking about your ego kind of getting the best of you here. Um, and, and it's not, I don't, I don't want you to like turn around and like accost your ego because of this. No, it's only doing what it was created to do. It's trying to protect you. Um, and Virgos can be very perfectionist, be, are very, are, they are the perfectionists of the Zodiac. Okay. So at any moment, if any little, the smallest little thing falls out of place, it kind of throws us into a bit of a tailspin because it's no longer perfect. Um, and let me tell you, Virgo, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. Perfection is subjective. There is no such thing as perfection, guys. And if you really want to look at it, and if you want to acknowledge perfection in any way, then everything is perfect just as it is, with all of its imperfections. I know, that's a paradox. It does, what? That doesn't make any sense. But it actually, it does make sense. Because, like I said, perfection is subjective, all right? Everyone's, every, everybody's view of perfection is different. And it's not like you, you may find people that like line up with how you feel about something, but still, they're still going to have their own individual opinion about it, you know? So why get, why allow yourself to get stuck in this nine of swords energy in this anxious, losing sleep, feeling like you're being haunted by something when you really don't even need to be there? Let go. I mean, yeah, you can, you can work, you can work hard. Okay. And build and, um, make things as uh, create things to their greatest potential, or at least have intentions of, of manifesting things in their greatest potential. But even if it doesn't really look the way you thought it should or way you wanted it to, it's still, it's still perfect as it is. And 
um, you're really being asked to love and appreciate it for what it what it is, not what you want it to be or what you think it should be or what others tell you it should be. Fuck all that. All right. Just let that go, because that is putting you in the nine of swords energy. OK, the sun is shining on you, Virgo. The sun is shining. Everything is being illuminated. You are you are. You are coming out of your shell. You are, you are strong and you are powerful. Just keep that in mind. Okay, <laughs> let's get to the storyline here. What's going on for us, Virgos? We have the Six of Swords, yep, with the Eight of Pentacles. So you're moving forward, guys. You're moving forward towards calmer waters. And with the Eight of Pentacles here, um, you're very much learning something new. You're developing new ideas. You're working very hard. Um, uh, uh, Lord Ganesha is up here. And uh, he, he's saying that, you know, you're moving, you're moving towards something new and blockages, barriers, things that held you back in the past are being removed. And that's because you've learned so much on your journey so far that those barriers just can't hold you anymore. They literally just can't. They were false anyway. I mean, they were there for a reason, don't get me wrong, but um, they're no longer necessary. And through moving forward and these barriers being broken down, you're because of what you've learned about, uh, learned through what you've gone through in the past, um, you're actively learning more as these boundaries are breaking, as these barriers are being removed. Yeah, that's awesome. Moving forward, we have the King of Cups with, oh, the Knight of Cups. Or in this deck, it's the Prince of Cups. You're in love, Virgo. <laughs> You are, you're standing, you are standing in this place of just love and affection and appreciation, and you really want to tell somebody about it. You really do. Um, and also, that's kind of what is, and okay, so this is a general reading, so I am talking to men and women. So please don't allow the king or even the knights here it, it, uh, uh, make, you, make you feel like it's about a man or a woman. This is really just the energy that I'm picking up for, for Virgo right now. And the reason why the king is being is coming up, not the queen, is because, yes, you do feel this love, but you want to take action, okay? Um, so that's why it's showing up as the king. And then it's just being confirmed with the knight of cups. Look, this, oh, this card is so beautiful. And it's funny because he's got, it's almost like that's Cupid, Right. And he's got his I'm sorry, guys, I'm shaking. I've been drinking too much coffee. <laughs> um, it, he's got he's got his arrow pointed. He knows exactly where he wants to 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 shoot that arrow. <laughs> um, but that's also part of what the nine of swords energy is around you. We are in Mercury retrograde. So communication is a little tricky at the moment. There is a lot of potential for um, there's a lot of potential for miscommunications fights, petty arguments, somebody not really taking something the right way, someone not really getting something across the right way. So part of your nine of swords energy is knowing that you are, you feel this love and you want to reach out and communicate it, but you just don't know how. And that's okay. Um, and you're really caught in this perfectionist place where it's like, I, I, I have to do this the right way. I can't make a mistake again. But um, it is actually much better for you to just take the step, take it with, um, being about with being grounded, you know, um, we're not asking you, well, you are feeling the night of wands energy, but we're asking you here to ground that energy, hold on to that fire and that passion, but, but make sure it's grounded so that when you do take that step to communication, you are doing it from the best place possible. You can, you absolutely can, the spirit is saying you absolutely can make this communication while in Mercury retrograde if you feel that's strong enough pull to, but again, just make sure you ground it, okay? Next, we have the Three of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, guys. So you um you want to celebrate. You want to be social. You want to be out there. And you're feeling this passionate inspiration towards making something known. Um, it's really becoming, it's really like building within you, Virgo. And um, that's also another 
place that the nine of swords energy nine of swords energy is being generated because again you want to do it in the right way you're getting caught in perfectionism around the situation when you really just need to take the chance with the ace of wands here you're holding the torch you know you're you know you're passionate about this whatever this symbolizes for you you know you're passionate about it and you want to tell the whole world about it um, and you can you can allow yourself the freedom to just do it okay next we have the four of swords okay yes with strength excellent so um for the most part the four of swords is actually saying to you virgo take this time to rest and recuperate to uh rebuild your strength yeah to focus on connecting with the abundance of the universe um of strength that's all around you like you see how this wolf and this woman are just resting here she still has her sword ready to go in case somebody comes and starts trying to mess with her but she's really just taking a chill pill <laughs> right now um perfectionism is coming up again and i feel like i feel like what this four of swords is also talking about for you virgo is um stopping yourself from moving or communicating because of perfectionism and instead of doing that the universe is asking you to just be strong and take the steps that you're being guided to take okay just you're you're so strong you're so powerful and you are you are guided you know oh sorry hold on hi guys you know virgo you know what you want you know who you want this is it okay just do it it's time for you to really let go of this four of swords restful place like don't get me wrong if you feel you need to just continue to rest a little bit more please please go do that but it's also time for you to start working your way out of that okay and releasing all of this need for for, for perfectionism now i get it we're still in metro retrograde it's got to be in retrograde until april 15th but but work on this um use this time actually you can even use this full moon that we're that we just had um well, it, the, the, we're in the full moon cycle as I'm recording this reading right now. But um, you can still draw on the energies even after it's done. But um, release, work on releasing a lot of this perfectionism. Just let it go. That's really coming forward for you right now, Virgo. It makes sense, but the spirit, the universe is really guiding you to work on this time and use this restful period. If you feel like you still need to be in restful period right now, use it to help you get a greater understanding of where you are um, struggling with perfectionism. Yeah. Next, we have the two of pentacles with the five of wands. Um, th yeah, there's still a lot of conflicting chaotic and some chaotic energy um, around you, or at least this is how you feel. And you're really working hard to balance out from that. I'm picking up that for some of you, there are a bunch of people around you that are just throwing their opinions at you and you're kind of getting it from all, uh, all, from all directions. And you're very, really working very hard to balance that out. Um, you're working very hard to please the people that you appreciate, that you care about. Um, you don't want to misstep. You don't want to hurt anybody. You don't want to um, feel or, or give anyone the idea that you're neglecting them. But at the same time, you're kind of being overwhelmed with the opinions. I, I definitely call the five of wands the peanut gallery. Like this is definitely like, thank, like no comments from the peanut gallery, please. <laughs> you know, like, but you're working very hard to balance this out. And you, you're, you're working hard to get to a place where you're strong enough to um, fight for your own opinion and your own desires instead of constantly fighting for others, okay? You really want to take the step and go out and go towards the direction that you know you really wanna to go to. But again, you have a lot of people around you that are trying to tell you how to do it, the best way to do it. When in reality, you just need to listen to yourself and take the guidance that is coming from your heart, yeah? Moving forward, we have death mm -hmm. with the king of pentacles. An ending is happening. A transformation is coming through. And I feel like um, for some of you, I'm picking up that this is surrounding um, 
egotism and materialism, um, you know, being very, very focused on material wealth and, um, and possessions, having pretty things, uh, fancy cars, big houses, lots of money, a perfect, like crazy lucrative or abundant job, something like that. Um, a transformation is happening in that realm for you. Um, but what I'm also picking up is uh, you are transforming and stepping further into a much more balanced and grounded version of the King of Pentacles. This is definitely your energy here, Virgo, um, because you are an earth sign. So um, also, I mean, there's a big shift in masculinity. And it's so funny because... Um, this is right under the King of Pentacles here. Everybody is going through this, I'm sorry, not, I'm sorry, not the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups. Everybody is going through this shift where they're balancing out their masculine and feminine energies. Whether you're on a twin flame journey or not, you're still experiencing this to some extent. extent. And so um, you're stepping into a brand new version, a much healthier and untwisted version of masculinity, uh, uh, of an understanding of masculinity as well. Um, and you're really starting to reconnect with your power and take your power back. The King of Cups and the King of Pentacles here are really, um, this is your energy, Virgo. Um, and this is a really good partnership within you. Um, because you're grounded in the physical sense where that you're, you're stable, you're abundant, you're knowledgeable, um, you know exactly what you're doing, you are very secure in your material um representation of your life and that's at the same time coupled with that you are much ground much more grounded and stable in your emotions in your um acceptance of love um that's awesome virgo i mean i'm resonating with that completely um and it's coming to a it's got gotten to a point where i'm i'm really so connected with myself and balanced within myself that i am starting to take some steps Yes, there is some fear. There is some nine of swords energy there. Uh, anxiety. Am I really doing the right thing? But, but Virgo, you're you're connected and you're grounded. So, yes, if you're hearing the call to take some sort of action, you know, take some time to balance and understand. But take the action, do it, because the sun is shining on you. So you kind of have the Midas touch right now, just a little bit. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Moving forward, we have the Ace of Swords with. <sighs> the Empress. <laughs> so, um, Twin Flames, I'm going to talk to you for a second. Um, uh, Divine Masculine, you have, um, you've reached a new understanding. Uh, you've, 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 you've come to the realization of who your feminine is, of who your divine counterpart is. Um, Oh yeah, see, this is exactly what I was saying. The eight, and this is right under the Ace of Wands with the Three of Cups. So you know, you know, you get it now. And you want to take this action. You want to move forward with it. Uh, you want to celebrate. You want to tell your friends. You want to tell the world. This is my boo. Like, she's it, guys. She's it. Um, <laughs> and it's so funny because I just did the Taurus video. I, my son's sign is Taurus. And the emperor came up, and so now, <laughs> and I'm the I'm the divine feminine in my in my um, in my journey, and now I'm doing the Virgo reading, and my twin is a Virgo, and he's getting the Empress <laughs> with the Ace of Swords <laughs> connection, guys. It's happening. It's really happening, guys. Um, what this is also saying uh, with the Ace of Swords and the Empress. Um, with this balancing of masculine and feminine energies that is happening worldwide, um, the feminine energies, the divine feminine is, is the number one influencer in what this Ace of Swords represents for you, okay? The, the feminine energies are really helping everyone move forward, move out of this twisted view of masculinity, and even femininity as well, um, is really helping us go through this transformation with death here and move us into a much higher vibration and a much greater understanding of who we are as individuals and uh, a greater balance between our masculine and feminine energies, okay? Finally, Virgo, in your storyline, we have, 
Oh my God. The Lovers Aww. with the High Priestess. Eon. Okay, so balance is happening within you, Virgo. Um, and it's definitely guided by the feminine, like I said. Um, you are coming into much greater union with yourself, which is allowing you to hear the whisperings of your soul, which is allowing secrets to be revealed. Also, Virgo, this is saying that secrets are going to be revealed to you. Your partner is coming forward. Yeah, I am, actually. <laughs> he, they're coming forward. Um, they're going to be communicating with you, trying to communicate with you. Um, they want to tell you everything. They want to... Um, they want to share their love with you. They want you to know that you're it, baby. <laughs> you're it, baby. <laughs> um, so secrets are going to be revealed um, if they haven't already started being re being revealed. My, my, that is such a great way to end this reading, don't you think? <laughs> um, okay, and so also what's happening for you, Virgo, when it comes to this Nine of Swords energy you're, you're, you're afraid, you're feeling fear because secrets are being revealed to you and you're not really in a place to, to, to um, respond to it. Um, you don't really know what to say. You don't really know how to react. Um, you're feeling... Uh-oh. You're feeling... Um... I'm sorry. I just got a text and it threw me off. Um... Sorry, I need to re I need to collect myself. Um, you just don't know what to do about it, but it's happening. It's happening. <sighs> All right, guys, um, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I love you all, and I will see you for the second half of April. Okay, see you later, guys. Bye.